Welcome to this training session on bumping. Bending or folding, stretching, shrinking, bumping, and crimping are all methods of forming sheet metal. Most of these are covered in different training sessions. This training session is devoted to the bumping method. Bumping involves shaping or forming malleable metal by hammering or tapping, usually with a rubber, plastic, or rawhide mallet. During this process, the metal is supported by a dolly, a sandbag, or a die. Each contains a depression into which hammered portions of the metal can sink. Bumping can be done by hand or by machine. In bumping, the material is stretched in the bulge to make it balloon, and in joggling, the material is stretched between the joggles. See the joggle training session. Bumping involves stretching the sheet metal by bumping it into a form and making it balloon. Bumping can be done on a form block or female die, or on a sandbag. In form block bumping a form block must be used and often time created by the mechanic. Form blocks are usually made of wood or lead die can also be made. For our example we will form a part called a blister. The wooden block or lead die designed for form block bumping must have the same dimensions and contour as the outside of the blister, the finished part in the picture. First, hollow the block out with tools, such as saws, chisels, gouges, files, and rasps. Next, smooth and finish the block with sandpaper. The inside of the form must be as smooth as possible, the slightest irregularity shows up on the finished part. Prepare several templates, patterns of the cross section, as shown at the top of the picture, so that the form can be checked for accuracy. Shape the contour of the form at points 1, 2, and 3 and then point 4 on the previous picture. Be careful and accurate. Doing a good job on the form will result in a better part that can be formed rather quickly. Once the form is done the bumping process can begin. Start by cutting a metal blank to size allowing an extra 1 slash 2 to 1 inch to permit drawing. After cutting apply a thin coat of light oil to the block and the aluminum to prevent galling. Galling occurs as you pound the aluminum into the wood, the two materials will want to stick to each other somewhat. The result of this adhesion can cause the aluminum to have scrapes and scratches. Oiling prevents sticking and galling. Next, clamp the metal blank between the block and the hold down plate. Ensure it is firmly supported. It can slip a little toward the inside of the form. Make sure to also clamp the block in a bench vise. Using a soft faced rubber mallet, or a hardwood drive block with a suitable mallet start bumping at the edges with light blows. Eventually, work to the center. Never start at the center, it may damage the piece. Before removing the work from the form, smooth it as much as possible by rubbing it with the rounded end of either a maple block or a stretching mallet. Afterwards, remove the piece and finish it by trimming, drilling for fasteners, painting, etc. The other form of bumping is called sandbag bumping. Although form bumping may require a little time to make a forming block, after that process the end part can be made quickly and accurately. On the other hand, sandbag bumping is one of the most difficult methods of hand forming sheet metal because there is no exact forming block to guide the operation. In this method, a depression is made into the sandbag to take the shape of the hammered portion of the metal. The depression or pit has a tendency to shift from the hammering because of the give in the sandbag, which necessitates periodic readjustment during the bumping process. Although this method may sound like a nightmare compared to form bumping, it requires less preparation and is suitable for parts with simple forms. The degree of shifting depends largely on the contour or shape of the piece being formed, and whether glancing blows must be struck to stretch, draw, or shrink the metal. Begin the process by laying out and cutting the contour template to serve as a working guide and to ensure accuracy of the finished part. This can be made of sheet metal, medium to heavy cardboard, craft paper, or thin plywood. Determine the amount of metal needed, lay it out, and cut it to size, allowing at least 1 slash 2 inch in excess. Place a sandbag on a solid foundation capable of supporting heavy blows and make a pit in the bag with a smooth faced mallet. Make a pit, depression, in the sandbag to cradle, radius should be the same as the part. The part you are forming. The pit will deform as the metal is hammered. Continual readjustments will be needed. 
select a soft round faced or bell shaped mallet with a contour slightly smaller than the contour desired on the sheet metal part. Now, hold one edge of the metal in the left hand and place the portion to be bumped near the edge of the pit on the sandbag. Strike the metal with light glancing blows. Continue bumping toward the center, revolving the metal, and working gradually inward until the desired shape is obtained. Shape the entire part as a unit. Check the part often for accuracy of shape during the bumping process by applying the template. If wrinkles form, work them out before they become too large. Remove small dents and hammer marks with a suitable stake and planishing hammer or with a hand dolly and planishing hammer. Trim and finish the work. This concludes this training session. We hope you found it useful.